Can I finally beat the man from the window three and unlock the secret ending? Let's find out. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to the Vermander Curse, also known as the Man from the Window 3. So you can see this bright yellow star. That means I unlocked the bad ending. Now I want to see if I can beat the game and get the good ending. So basically, every hour, the uh, demon attacks me in more and more ways. So let's... Oh... The axolotl is here now. Okay, so let's close the window. Let's talk to her. Tammy sits happily humming to herself. Okay, so far, I don't have to do anything with her. If you want to see more Man From The Window videos on this channel, hit that like button and subscribe right now. All right, here's the octopus lady. Does she need anything? I am tired. On work? Sleep for a minute, then hand. Caught. You fell asleep at work, and that's how the hand got like that? Yes. Oh, you poor thing. Well, at least try to get some rest while you're here, all right? I don't know how uh, the nurse knew what she was saying, but she did. All right, let's move on. Nobody in here. Where's my main man? Where's the guy and his wife that I accidentally killed last time, and that's why I got the bad ending? Yep, here's the ugly son of a nutcracker. All right, so he, like, fell off. Oh, man. Lang Boyd. This guy looks evil, but he's actually kind of a nice guy. I know. The kids, Lang. Did you even think about them? Their little heads are probably worried sick by now. Okay, so if you guys didn't see part one, Lang was trying to clean the gutters in his house to save money, and he fell off the roof and injured himself. So you guys were telling me if I want to unlock the secret good ending in the game, I have to have a perfect run. I can't die, and none of my patients can die, and if I do that, I get the secret ending? At least I think so. The time was 11 p.m. All the windows had been closed, and then it arrived. Okay, so I think I got through the first hour. The first, like, two or three hours are pretty easy. Here's what's gonna happen next. The demon will try to draw power from any lights it can gain access to. You'll know it's inside a room to siphon power when the lights start flickering. Oh, so it's a different order. Last time it was, like, window first, then TV. Now they're- th th I'm gonna have to write this down. When it happens, you'll need to enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few few seconds. Okay, this one's easy. The other thing that I didn't do last time, I didn't talk with my patients every night. And if you don't do that, you run- what is she doing? Hey, axolotl lady, go back to your room. Hey, there's some lady in the mirror looking at me. Tammy, that's you. Apparently, axolotls are not very smart. Let's go room three. Let's talk to the strange octopus lady that doesn't really speak English. Hurting is again? Anything do? Please. Okay, so I think I need to get her pain medication. I think she said she's in pain. Madam, I've brought you uh, your schedule. Your scheduled. I think it's scheduled. Your scheduled pain medication. Yes, good. If we look at the clock, uh, time goes by faster and we should be good. The time was 12 a.m. All the windows had been closed. None of the lights have been left flickering. And then it arrived. Okay, I think so far so gooey. I'm going to watch just because it's kind of cool and also kind of creepy when the demon comes. Let's see if he runs his face right into the wall again. Three, two, one. Bam, he did it again. I don't know why he keeps doing that, but that's fine with me. Moving on to hour four. This is where the game really starts getting hard. You'd be surprised how much the demon's powers resonate with electronics. It can gain access into the phone lines and try to gain power too. If you notice the phone continuously ringing, then that's exactly what it's trying to do, all right? All right, here we go. So now I think it's good old Morton's turn. So let's go in here. Oh my gosh. If this lady, what is she going to say today? Hello, ma'am, this is the waiting room. Strange things are happening tonight, and I need you to get back to your room. Ha ha, my bad. I'll go back now. This lady. Tammy the axolotl is about as dumb as a donut in... On Wednesday. I don't know why donuts would be specifically dumb on Wednesdays, but that's what I that's what I said, so I'm gonna stick with it. Whoa, man, I think my head's finally starting to clear. That stuff works wonders, I'm telling you. Had a tooth pulled and didn't even feel a thing. Okay, you know what? I think she's good. Lights aren't flickering, phone's not ringing. Shut up, Tammy, and just leave me alone. Let's move on. Room number two, TV. Beautiful. Let's talk to this octopus lady. Yawn. Oh, lights are flickering, though. Lights are flickering. Okay, she's sleeping, which is good. For some reason, she sleeps standing up, but we're not going to argue with that. I'm going to close my eyes. Uh, three, two, doodly-doo. That seems to work. It's all about the doodly-doo. Yep, if I didn't say doodly-doo, it wouldn't have worked, even though I didn't say doodly-doo last time. I'll close that window. TV's off. Light not flickering. I can't wait until I get to... Oh, there goes the phone. Here goes the phone, so let's listen. Let's listen carefully. 
I don't hear anything. You didn't hear anything from the other side of the phone, so that means say nothing. You can sense the presence on the other end of the phone has departed. How exactly do you sense a presence departing? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to leave it up to the doctor. Here we go, Lang Boyd. TV off, phone not ringing, lights not flickering. I have a feeling he's going to need pain meds. I think my back's beginning to start hurting again. Guess that medicine I had earlier wore off or something. All right, so I'm going to get him his pain medication so I don't kill Lang Boyd again. Lights are not flickering, but let's get Lang Boyd's medication. Uh, yeah, pick up the medication. Beautiful. All right, I like how it's one purple pill. Lang, you're gonna take one purple pill and you're gonna like it, okay? Lights are not flickering. Where's Lang Boyd? Let's give him the medication so he stays in his room. Sir, I've brought you your scheduled pain medication. Just in time. My back was starting to act up again. Woo! All right, beautiful. That was easy enough. Let's check the bathrooms because you never know if, if Tammy the Axolotl is gonna be staring at herself in the mirror. The lights were not flickering. The lights were not flickering. Hour five. I think this is where I officially lost last time. There's one final thing this demon's gonna try. Ritualistic candles. It has the power to manifest them inside its area of influence. It's vital and very, very important that if you see one, you extinguish it. If you let it keep burning, the demon will be able to draw power from it. It won't try anything new after this, so you won't have to worry about any more rules. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot. This part is important. Whatever you do, make sure you don't... And the power went out. Fantastic. That's just fantastic. All right, here we go. So it's, uh, it's, oh, there's a candle in here already. Wow. He's already starting. So let's blow out that candle with your giant, what is she, an anteater? What exactly is Edda the doctor? I think she's an anteater. So she used her big anteater nose. Her nose is almost as big as mine. All right, here we go. Tammy looks to be sleeping. She's actually not staring at herself in the mirror anymore. TV's off. Light's not flickering. Everything. Oh, I saw him. I saw him. I definitely saw him. Okay, TV is on. Everything else in this room seems to be good. I like room 2A. That seems to be the easy room. Uh, Octopus is either dead or sleeping, which is fantastic. This has been really easy. I don't want to jinx it because I feel... Oh, lights are flickering. Aha. I knew they were going to try to get me with a tricky one. Sometimes I don't check the bathroom, but I have to check every single room. The time is now 3 a.m. All the windows have been closed. All the TVs have been turned off. None of the lights have been left flickering. All of the phones have been answered. All of the candles have been extinguished. And then it arrived. We're almost done, guys. We are going to unlock the secret good ending in this game. Here we go. Is this the final night? I don't remember, but she, there's no phone call this night. I do remember the last night or the last two hours, there's no phone call. I remember last time I played this game, it, it, there was one night where every single... Oh, I saw him in the window. I saw him in the window. I remember having one hour where all of the TVs were left on, and it, it kind of freaked me out, honestly. All right, let's close that. No lights flickering yet. I think we got through that night. The time was 4 a.m. All the windows had been closed. All the TVs had been turned off. All the lights had been stopped flickering. All the phones had been answered. All the candles had been extinguished. And then it arrived. I think we have one hour left. One hour until we can unlock the secret ending. Come on, baby. Here we go. Final hour. Because I think I just have to make it to 5 a.m. Because that's when the sun starts coming up. Anything in here? Nope. That looks good. The waiting room is good. Room 1A. Tammy's still sleeping. TV's off, phone not ringing, I close the window, beautiful, let's move on to 2A, I love this game, this has been a lot easier than last time I played, hello my good man Boyd, the Boyds are my favorite man, I say it every time, I feel so bad that I killed him last time, alright, oh, lights flickering and the window's open, there's a lot of demon presents in here, and not the presents that you get at Christmas or, or Hanukkah, it, these are the bad presents, something's up, this demon knows that I'm getting close to the secret ending, and he is gonna play some tricks on me. I just feel it. I feel it in my nose. It's 5 a.m. The time was 5 a.m. Everything's been closed. Everything's been turned off. No flickering. Everything's been answered correctly. The sun began to rise. The demon could not stay in this world much longer. However, in direct violation of the Vermander Pact, no blood had been spilled that night. The most important part of the pact had not been fulfilled, which meant that the agreement was now null and void. After generations of being enslaved to the Vermander family, the demon was finally free. And though it did not have much time left, it knew exactly how it wished to spend its final moments. This is the secret ending. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, there's Vermander. Vermander's not going to be happy because the demon did not do his job. Hannah. Oh, it's Hannah. What in the world are you doing back here this early? Hannah? Oh, maybe it's not Hannah. Maybe it is the demon. Oh, the demon's gonna kill Vermander! Oh, it's you. Don't you have some work to be doing? What do you want? 
Don't you go forgetting that you work for me, mister. Oh, he's getting closer. I command you to get out of here. Why won't you listen to me, you stupid... Oh, the demon killed Mr. Vam Ver Vermander. The angry howls of the demon echoed throughout the town that morning, and then the estate fell deathly quiet. As it turned out, Hannah hadn't left the Vermander estate that previous night. She had been far too tired to return home after feeding instructions through the phone all night. Instead, she fell asleep on one of the manor's empty rooms. Oh no, I like Hannah. She was awakened by the awful noises emitting from upstairs. Hannah climbed the stairs quickly and made her way over to the office. Inside there lie J.P. Vermander. Beaten, unmoving, and absolutely mangled. But against all the odds, he was still alive. So if you guys don't know, Vermander is very evil. A large part of her wanted to simply leave him there to give him the same disrespect and disregard that he showed to others. She turned to leave. But deep down, she knew that wasn't the right thing to do. He's going to go back to the hospital. The evil man that tried to kill everybody at the hospital is now going to be treated at the hospital, I bet. As bad as he was, she would not stoop to his level. An ironic turn of events, J.P. Vermander's life was saved at the very same hospital he had tried to get rid of himself. Despite their rightful and justified anger at the man, Dr. Etta and Nurse Morton treated him no different than any other patient, and he was soon on the road to full recovery. It took a near-death experience at the hands of an angry demon and an intensive stay at the hospital. But J.P. Vermander felt something that no Vermander had felt for a long time, remorse. However, due to the pact being broken, most of the wealth and power it granted was soon lost to crippling debt. With no other options, J.P. sold sold off his estate and assets to pay his dues. As a sign of goodwill, Dr. Etta let him stay in one of their vacant rooms until he could get back on his feet. He's currently working as a food delivery driver making ends meet, and he wasn't qualified for anything else. Though he does miss his money and his old lifestyle, in the end, he's just thankful to still be alive. Wow! We actually made Vermander a good guy. Yes, and now I have all three stars. That was awesome. Make sure you guys check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.